Four Paws Unleashed brings a new state-of-the-art approach to pet care. Their suites are designed to feel like an elite hotel room complete with Simmons Beautyrest mattresses and TVs. Four Paws also has grooming services available as well. Visit their website, fourpawsunleashed.com, to find out more. The matter of pride wall was officially unveiled last weekend before the Colonels football team played against Tennessee State. The wall sits behind the statue of Hall of Fame coach Roy Kidd, which looks over the field at Roy Kidd Stadium. Skip Doherty played, coached, and was a manager under Roy Kidd and spoke to us about what the wall means to coach and EKU football. Before Coach Kidd retired, uh, we had kind of an idea. That I had I had an idea of something that was a little different than this, but it was had to do with the statue in the wall. Uh, years later, Rick Sang and some other people got it together to get the statue going, but we were missing the wall, the players. As Coach always said, the players are what made it. The effort with that wall was we had to, first of all, who all played. How many players were there? It was a whole bunch, but what's that mean? So we found out there's over 1,300 players, coaches, and managers, and we want coach won everybody, anybody that had to do with the sports program. Yeah, we made every effort through programs, annuals, everything possible to find all the names and reached out to our players. And a uh, bunch of us looked over the names, coaches, all the coaches that were still around looked over names, and we feel we got somebody. But just in case we didn't, we've got space to add the names once once it comes up. So it came together. Uh, Dan McBride spearheaded. The, the, the construction part of it with alumni and getting the names. With Coach Kidd, it was family, football, and church. That's the three things. That was, you know, family first and football was there, but then sometimes football probably came first and a lot of times during the season and stuff. Football at Eastern was a kid affair. I mean, for all those years, 39 years. And when the significance of the wall, other than just having all these names is, every one of these players and coaches and managers and trainers, they all were under the guise of leadership of Coach Kidd. Coach Kidd was very emotional during the ceremony as he spoke about how important this was to him and his family. Coach won two national championships, 314 games as the head coach at EKU, and his legacy lives on. For more stories like these and for the best local sports coverage around, be sure to like WBON-TV on Facebook or visit our website, WBONTV.com. I'm Michael Watkins.